Due to alcohol consumption's dehydration, the individual developed subulsion. She said that Shankella Robinson, the person in this case, had skin noops and a dry mouth. A new police report has helped Mexican and U.S. authorities identify the person responsible for Shankella's death and direct them to additional resources. Keep watching until the end. Shankella Robinson, a Charlotte resident who was killed while on vacation in Mexico, had an arrest warrant issued for her. The doctor who had treated Shinquilla prior to her death, as stated by a Mexican prosecutor and confirmed by ABC News, thought Shinquilla should be taken to a hospital. However, her companions requested that she be treated at the estate, which is when additional disturbing details began to emerge. The report says that Dr. Gutierrez tried an IV but didn't succeed. The drug that was in the IV is unknown. According to Robinson's death certificate, she passed away 15 minutes after being injured, but the report contradicts that. At this point, the observer's translation of the report from Spanish to English indicates that the patient's friend, Winter Donovan, called 911 to request an ambulance. At the time, it was around 4.20 p.m. Instead, an excerpt from a police report reveals that Robinson and others in the house were accompanied by a doctor from a nearby hospital for nearly three hours prior to her death. In the meantime, new information about a case that has piqued national interest is emerging. Shinkola Robinson was still alive when medical attention arrived at her Cabo, Mexico, vacation home last month, according to a police investigation. A Charlotte newspaper obtained the report which contradicted previous information from Robinson's death certificate, which stated that she died within 15 minutes of being injured. Sources revealed that Shankweller Robinson was allegedly physically assaulted by Di, Tiny Jackson, and Winter Donovan, also known as Winter. As the mysterious death of Shankweller Robinson continues to pique the interest of Internet users, the victim's death is being investigated as femicide, according to the Baja California Sur Attorney General's office. Winter, on the other hand, lied in the police report that Shakewella had alcohol poisoning and that her lips were drying out. It appeared that Winter and her friends had devised a cover to keep the outside world out. According to the information we obtained, the nine call occurred at 4.37 p.m. on October 29, 2022. Ms. Winter Donovan is said to have called. She said that someone had subulsion because they were dehydrated from drinking alcohol. Shinquilla Robinson, the person in question, she said, had a dry mouth and skin. Service delivery was helpful. At 4.42 p.m., Salamander, the victim's parents. Bernard and her friends were also informed that the 25-year-old died of alcohol poisoning. However, the FBI later learned that she— passed away as a result of a severe injury to her spinal cord and atlas flexation. In the meantime, a video of Robinson being physically abused by a woman who is said to be D. Jenny Jackson has gone viral online. Robinson is seen being repeatedly beaten up by Jackson in the video. The North Carolina Beat has learned that Winter Donovan slammed Robinson to the ground after wrapping her arms around her neck. On her phone, Donovan also recorded the physical assault. Following Donovan's attack, the source informed the publication that Shankweller Robinson no longer moves. There is also a rumor that Donovan's attack was captured on video. However, at the time of writing, it was not accessible online. Numerous internet users attempted to learn more about the people who went with Robinson to Mexico after the businesswoman died. At first, the names were not made public. However, it was later discovered that Lukuk Neiser Wiggins was referred to as Alice Hyatt. Robinson was with D. Jeannie Jackson and Winter Donovan on the trip. The group of friends has deleted their social media accounts in an effort to conceal their identity. After the video of the assault went viral, they also developed a great deal of hatred for Robinson's death. A fan wrote, Let's see how furious the fans are. Winter is a hashtag. Donovan, why would someone use a broken neck and spine to hide alcohol poisoning? 
Make sense of it now, please. Another supporter added, hashtag Justice Borshala. It is extremely disturbing and truly shows the cesspit and excrement of people who are despicable and lost. Who is hashtag Winter Donovan? He is said to have body slammed Chinquela and held her neck. When we go to Mexico, why would the authorities let these people go without conducting proper background checks or contacting the FBI? A different fan wrote, hashtag Winter Donovan is disgusting. She instructed the Mexican doctor not to send APPEA with the hashtag Shanklier Benson to the hospital for treatment. Shanquela was not breathing. Who exactly does she believe she is to make the decision that he should be in jail with the other five fake friends? And a fan responded, I don't think anyone anticipated the level of coverage or the outpouring of love and support for Shanquela and her family. I hope they all ended up in a Mexican prison for the rest of their lives. Hashtag, Callow Cook Hashtag, Winter Donovan Hashtag, Galassa Hashtag, Ginny Jackson Hashtag, Natter Wiggins Hashtag, Malik Deer One Fan, on the other hand, expressed an oddly opposing viewpoint by asking, so is it possible that it was an accident to have killed her and they panicked? In other words, fights are unpredictable, we probably all know that. She could have been too drunk or too hungover to respond, or she could have done so to demonstrate how she felt about it. Nevertheless, the majority of fans continue to adhere to their version of the facts, which states that Chinquela was in fact assaulted in the video of Robinson being physically abused by a woman whose identity was speculated to be that of Jenny Jackson. With Jackson repeatedly striking a naked Robinson in the footage, almost everyone could tell that the assault was planned. In addition, Winter Daniel and was said to have thrown Robinson to the ground and wrapped her arms around her neck. Daniel and the North Carolina Beat also took video of the physical assault, according to Rafone. A source told the newspaper that Shankella Robinson stopped moving and started to lose her life after Donovan attacked her. Clearly, the video has swayed a lot of people into thinking that her death was staged. The North Carolina Beat recently obtained a video of Shankella Robinson sleeping in a hammock. Because Kala, Shankwella's supposed best friend, was hurt and said, We got our first dead body, the video is brutal and difficult to watch. Our first corpse arrived. Additionally, although the assault has been captured, it is not yet accessible online. Shankwella and her companions left on October 28 for a vacation in Mexico. Shanquilla's posts on social media showed that she was thrilled to be with her friends when they got to the Fundator's mansion in San Jose del Cabo. On October 28, 2022, the group of friends landed in Cabo, Mexico. Shanquilla posted the video to her Instagram story at 8.45 p.m., according to the timestamp. A few more pictures show her eating tacos and raising a drink at 9.54 p.m., and then the video cuts to black. Although the subsequent events are well documented and involve law enforcement officials from two nations, it is unclear what transpired next. Salamandra and Bernard's deaths have been the subject of an investigation by the Attorney General's Office for Baja California Sur.